friendship could be. My little pony. Until you all shared its magic with me. Big adventure. Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. You have mine. No offense. None taken. None taken, you donkey hating racist. Right. So the Pegasi are having a meeting, but Fluttershy is trying to get out of it. You too, Fluttershy. Wow, good catch. Also, this. She's not a tree, Dashy. I'd like to be a tree. Cue this amazing instructional film about how Pegasi need to bring water to various places all over Equestria. But how, one pony might ask, does Cloudville gather all this extra water? And they do it by forming a tornado and using it to move the water around. Again, I love it when they use a different style for things like this. It's one of my favorite things about this show. The next time you're wondering, where does all that extra rainwater come from? Just remember! Oh well, we all got the gist of it. Intermission? In any case, the Pegasi have chosen a reservoir in Ponyville for this task, so it's up to all of the Ponyville Pegasi to have to get together and make it happen. But Spitfire, Captain of the Wonderbolts, will be here to oversee the water transfer and record our top tornado wind speed. And Dash being Dash, she also wants to break a world record. I think we can get a top speed over a thousand! <coughs> that coughing better be from a popcorn kernel, Thunder Lane. No ponies getting sick on my watch. Are we gonna be fast? Yeah! Record smashing fast? Yeah! Oh right, this is a first episode with bulk biceps. He was so much funnier before he got overused. Probably the best part of this episode is the sheer number of new Pegasi that were designed for it. A little too much flexibility, Blossom Boy. Anyway, the Pegasi are all training, but again, Fluttershy is missing. We're gonna need all the wing power we can get to break that record. Yeah! So Rainbow Dash goes to find out why. Really, really wanted to come to training day today. <laughs> but this pony pox has really knocked me for a loop. A chew. <laughs> yeah, Fluttershy sickness is from the Applejack school of fakery. Can't hear you. Uh, I'm asleep. Shoo. Shoo. There's only one cure for pony pox. I know. Plenty of better. <laughs> Cold water. Wouldn't it be awful if it turned out that Fluttershy actually was sick? <laughs> I guess I can't fly after you. I have to say, Fluttershy is pretty great in this scene. So Dash asks her what's really going on, and surprise, Fluttershy is nervous about flying in front of other Pegasi. You're right, Rainbow Dash. It wasn't bad. It was horrible. And it stems from full hood trauma at flight camp. Fluttershy, Fluttershy, Fluttershy can hardly fly. Suck it up, Fluttershy. This is no time for... I mean... Confidence. I love how Dash is clearly frustrated, but she's doing her best not to let it affect how she treats Fluttershy. Big contrast from her behavior in Dragonshy. I need every ounce of wing power I can get. Instead, she focuses on expressing how they all need Fluttershy. Wait. And Fluttershy agrees to it. All right. However reluctantly. Anyway, Twilight has a method for measuring the speed and wing power of the Pegasi. <laughs> Is that you again, Thunderlane? There's also a running gag about how Thunderlane keeps coughing and others get on him about that because they don't want him to get sick and especially not get everyone else sick. It wasn't me, it was Blossom Force. Why don't you get over here and be our first test flyer, Thunderlane? <coughs> so it was Blossom Force who was coughing. So Thunderlane is the first to test out the machine and he does pretty well. We have 9.3 wing power. Wow! That's I love Cloud Chaser playing with his mane. I get the feeling that he might be popular with the mares. That might just be my headcanon, though. Yeah! I think we already know that Dash is gonna get a super high score, but here we go anyway. 16.5 wing power! Anyway, they all need to get their wing power at least up to 10 before the end of the week. After some practice, they're all getting closer to it. Look how anxious the little gray one with the purple mane is. She looks like a hummingbird. Anyway, now it's Fluttershy's turn. She seems to be doing okay at first, but then Cloud Chaser and Flitter start laughing. Hard to tell if they're definitely laughing at Fluttershy or not, but she thinks they are and that kills her confidence. You measured, uh, 0.5. Ouch. 0.5? Isn't that like, like lesson one? Ow! Typical Spike, he had that coming. 
And here comes one of my favorite visuals of the whole series. I know it's just symbolic of her feeling watched and judged, but damn does it ever look dark and disturbing for a kid show. And Fluttershy is just done. You aren't gonna go quit just because of that, are you? Yes! Aww. I'm sorry, Rainbow Dash. I just don't have the courage right now. A little later, all of her animal friends are giving her a pep talk. You're right, my friends. I shouldn't give up. I will get my confidence up and show every pony that I am a good flyer. Cue a training montage. How? So now Fluttershy is ready to be tested again. And doesn't do as well as she was hoping. Two. Point three? That has to be some kind of mistake. I worked so hard. How would you feel if every pony else was flying with 10.0 wing power and you were flying with 2.5? Actually, it was only 2.3 and... Ah! Oh, Spike, how many times do you need to be bonked on the head? Dash tries to look on the bright side and points out that every little bit helps, but that doesn't change the fact that her pride is hurt. You'll be able to lift tons of water up to Cloudsdale. If only there was a way to lift Fluttershy out of the dumps. The next day, apparently Thunder Lane is out with the feather flu. Rumble, where's your lazy brother? He's got the feather flu. And can we talk about how adorable his little brother Rumble is? But anyway, it turns out that a lot of them are out with the feather flu, which is not good. You might not have enough wing power to create a tornado powerful enough to lift the water to Cloudsdale. Well, should we pack up? But Rainbow Dash is determined to make it work, because of course she is. Okay, everypony! Let's give it all we've got! Meanwhile, Fluttershy figures she should at least be there for moral support. For a while, it almost looks like they're gonna do it, but... Nope. And now Rainbow Dash is a tree. Twilight is afraid that if they try it again, someone could get hurt. But once again, Rainbow Dash is determined. Hey, that's Applejack's job. No! One more time! I gotta know we gave it our all! You'd think that Spitfire would be helping. I know she's just there to supervise and tradition and all, but you'd think she'd make an exception when it's an emergency. And once again, it starts to work, but they're just not quite there. So Twilight encourages Fluttershy to join them because it might help just enough. Do it for Equestria! Do it for Rainbow Dash! Do it for yourself! Nah. I know Angel Bunny has been a lot nicer in this episode, but after putting your hoof down, that was still kind of satisfying. Let's watch it a few more times. Okay, okay. So despite passing her previous numbers, Fluttershy still has a moment where she almost loses her confidence. <laughs> but pushes through. What was that? It's called Buck You Energy. So they get over 800, and the water is funneled out of Ponyville and into Cloudsdale. You did it! But Fluttershy can't seem to stop. We did it! You did it! Aw, way to go, Fluttershy. Nice job, Rainbow Dash. You may not have set a new record, but you showed a lot of guts. And you gotta give it to my number one flyer, Fluttershy! Aw, Dash gives Fluttershy all the credit. Now that's character growth. But today, I learned that every pony's contribution is important, no matter how small. And so ends Hurricane Fluttershy. This is just one of those really solid season two episodes. Episodes like this one make it really obvious why Fluttershy is such a popular character. I'm sure a lot of people relate to her lack of confidence and it's always refreshing to see her overcome that in some way. My favorite thing about this episode is all the new Pegasi we get. Cloud Chaser and Flitter who are adorable. Thunder Lane has a really cool design and kind of an amusing personality. My favorite is Blossom Forth. She doesn't get any dialogue, but I love her design. Also, I totally ship her and Thunder Lane for some reason. And there are plenty of other Pegasi who we see in this episode for the first time who don't appear to be named. Not to mention all of the derpy sightings. And of course, there's Bulk Biceps who stole the show. With how many appearances he's had since, if I'm being brutally honest, I'm kind of tired of him by now. It's hard to go back and remember how totally random and fun he was at the time. He looks like he doesn't even belong in this show's universe. He looks like he's from Ren and Stimpy or something. And that was just hilarious at the time. 
He didn't have a name for a while, so he had various fan nicknames like Snowball. My favorite was Roid Rage, though I'm not surprised that one didn't stick. Now let's talk about Rainbow Dash for a minute and what a stark contrast there is between her reactions to Fluttershy in Dragonshy and in this episode. Like I said when I covered that one, I found Dash kind of grating. And this was back when she was my favorite character, so it's not like I find her annoying in general. She can definitely be rough around the edges, and that's part of her charm, but she just kind of took it a little too far in that one. Basically, she was making it all about her and how Fluttershy needs to stop getting on her nerves with her lack of self-confidence. And it didn't even lead up to any kind of moment where she apologized or admitted she was wrong or anything. But here, we can see that Dash is frustrated, but instead of face palming, complaining behind her back, and glaring at the camera, she actually tries to help Fluttershy, because that's what friends do. I know Dragonshy was trying to play her annoyance for laughs, but it wasn't funny, it just made her come across as an awful person. But here, Rainbow Dash's loyalty is played up, and she's depicted as a good friend. Again, we can tell she's frustrated, but she's just as concerned about Fluttershy herself as getting the job done. She doesn't ever treat Fluttershy as some kind of nuisance or liability, just a friend who needs to try harder. And as much as Dash wants to impress the Wonderbolts, when complimented by Spitfire, she directs her attention to Fluttershy. That's just an amazing thing for Dash to do. Yeah, I know this is a Fluttershy episode and I'm talking about everyone but Fluttershy, but nearly every Fluttershy episode seems to be about her overcoming some fear she has. And seeing her do that is always satisfying, but the premise of this episode isn't really that fresh. For me, it's nearly everything else about it that makes it particularly good. One thing I will say, though, is that this scene genuinely makes me tear up. I know Fluttershy is sensitive, but no matter how many times I see this episode, I never expect her to be crying that hard when she turns around. My heart just breaks for her. So, still not my favorite of the main six, but I totally get the Flutter love. Next up is Ponyville Confidential. See you then. Do I look like I speak squirrel? <laughs>